today and Amy. We're sat in traffic in Boston, which apparently is quite common in Boston. Fun times. On our way home. We've been at the stump. Hello. I say I say we've been up the stump. That's him. I got, I got <laughs> about a third of the way up the stump before getting a bit shaky. There is a picture of me almost at the cusp of my fear. Uh, I got a few steps more, broke, had to climb back down, hammer on the door until they opened it, um, which took them a couple of seconds, so I was panicking, banging around the door. And they let me out and offered me a cup of tea and a sit-down. It took me about half an hour to recover. I could actually hear this banging on the door from where I was, being a man, on the way up the stump still. We're actually moving now. How's the traffic here? The traffic is horrible, isn't it? The Boston, it's terrible traffic. Boston traffic is not going to be the best thing for Lincolnshire. Definitely not. I hope, whilst talking... I'm still going to be able to navigate in the correct direction. <laughs> yeah, do you know what the correct direction I'm, is? I'm basically yeah. trying to head back towards Peterborough, but we could end up anywhere at this rate. But then we're sat in traffic again, which is nice. But yeah, so we went to the stump. We've also been to the windmill where they didn't let us in for free. <laughs> yep. Um, they wouldn't even give us a discount. So they we do just sell quince jelly, on. which um, I've heard is nice, but I've never had. Mm. Um, but we've been there as well. And we also went to Boston United. They club. were brilliant. They were very nice. They've started a new journey Actual there. Actual legendary club. They're they let good. us in for free. We wandered around the stadium for free. A few pictures. Spoke to a man with one eye. Did we? Yes. I don't remember, I don't remember a man with I one turned eye. to ask the man what was going me? on. I was having a good old chat with him and then noticed he only had one eye. I thought the sun was just shining on that part of his face. <laughs> and then... Seconds later, I'm going, the sun's in my eyes! <laughs> I'm thinking, damn it, this is inappropriate. If the, if the tra traffic wasn't so bad, I would turn back round just to go and see him. I'm interested. This is. A I want to know what he's doing at a football match where he can only see half the game. <laughs> he can probably turn his head. He's probably mastered that skill in all these years. Of he's got no one. depth perception. Did he not have a glass eye or anything? No. It was just it, a gaping hole in his face. He actually had sellotape over, over his eyelid. His eyelid was sellotaped down. Well, perhaps it wasn't just one eye. No, perhaps but it was he just flat. had a bit of grit in his flat. eye or something. It was flat. It was definitely one eyed. Awesome. Um, of course, we do need to explain how we ended up getting into the ground. Um, if you'd like to point the camera towards Fardin, our newly appointed head researcher, who got us into the ground for now. So, round of applause for Fardin. Well done, Fardin. Well done. You got your hands off the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> it's not if I'm being filmed. The police are never going to find out about it. Um. <laughs> I think that's probably all we've got to say for now. Yeah, so let's say goodbye bye -bye. to the people of YouTube. Bye!